time your average is? One year ago, 1,794 American high school students submitted research projects to the Intel Science Talent Search. This week, the top 40 students came to Washington to compete for the top prize of $100,000. Each of them presented a solution to a single difficult problem, from cancer and mathematics to ecology. Kevin Lee from Irvine, California, developed a mathematical model for correlating electrical signals from the heart with cardiac arrhythmia, which he hopes will contribute to better understanding of this sometimes fatal condition. If we can design a drug that's uh, better in that it's based off of an improved understanding of what's going on in the heart, then we can reduce side effects and make better drugs. Kevin went on to win the second prize of $75,000. Angela Kong, a 17-year-old senior from San Jose, California, looked at so-called cancer stem cells that successfully evade treatment. What underlying mechanisms cause these stem cells to go into a stage of inactivity so we can better target them with the drugs that we have today and in terms of long-term implications to potentially target breast cancer better. Some competitors chose to focus on the social sciences. Zarin Rahman from Brookings, South Dakota, wanted to find a new way to quantify the effects of self-induced stressors. And I specifically looked at how teenagers use their cell phones and their computers and how that had a negative effect on their performance in school. Zarin won seventh place in the competition and will receive $25,000. The science talent search began in 1942. Many finalists have gone on to win even bigger awards, says Intel Foundation's executive director, Wendy Hawkins. Eight of them have become Nobel laureates. A number have become senior members of the National Institutes of Health, uh, the National Academies of Science. We have MacArthur Genius Awards, and we even have one Academy Award winner for Best Actress. Since taking over sponsorship of the competition in 1998, the Intel Foundation has gradually increased the awards fund. It reached $1.25 million this year. Hawkins says it is a good investment. We depend on the next generation of innovators, the people who will design the new devices, the new techniques, the new scientific discoveries, and we need to foster that kind of creativity and innovation. This year, the top prize went to Eric Chen from San Diego, who received $100,000 for his research about a new class of drugs for better control of influenza during pandemics. The Intel Science Talent Search is the oldest and most prestigious high school science competition in the United States. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.